USS Ford is the Navy's first aircraft carrier to feature a brand new system called the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. You can see the crew testing it out here with a sled weighing about 80,000 pounds to simulate an aircraft. In the coming weeks, they're going to actually use real aircraft to test it. And this replaces steam catapults and is designed to be more efficient, need less maintenance, able to launch aircraft quicker. The Navy says the smoother acceleration will cause less stress to their aircraft, extending the life service, and will be able to launch heavier aircraft that have not been built yet. Despite its promised benefits, with the EMAL system, that's the acronym for it, has been controversial, taking a long time to get operational, and even gaining a famous critic in President Trump, who said the Navy should go back to, and I quote, goddamn steam, which is how they have launched aircraft since the very beginning off carriers. I asked Admiral John Richardson, Chief of Naval Operations, about that. We took a tour of the hangar bay and also talked about the need for the USS Gerald Ford in the world today. The world's a dangerous place right now. Real world, what difference does this ship make for the Navy to project power? Well, I'll tell you what, when you are talking about something as huge as the USS Gerald R. Ford and its strike group and the air wing, yeah, that's a tremendous amount of United States sovereign power that is mobile to go around the world wherever we need it, uh, adding you know a huge uh, amount of our ability to defend America from attacks and, and protect our interests around the world. Big question a lot of folks are asking, is it worth it and is it going to work? Not a great track record with the Zumwalt, had some problems with it. How do you prevent that here? Yeah, I'll tell you what, the Zumwalt is going to pay off, right? When we get her done, it's going to be something. But the answer to your two questions are yes and yes. It is absolutely worth it. It'll be worth everything that we put into this ship. When you see her, go to sea and see what she can bring. Uh, you know, as you know, she's got a little bit of trial period left to go, lots of some testing still to go. But in a couple of years, she'll be ready to deploy, and it'll be absolutely fantastic. The president has questioned some of the new technology on the ship, specifically the catapult, saying, will it work? Is it worth the expense? He's going to be here today. What's your guarantee to him? Well, I'll tell you, it is work. It is working, right? I mean, we're going to launch and recover aircraft off this ship next week, okay? And so this is not a matter of prediction. This is a matter of fact. And so uh, it, this technology is under control right now, and it's going to deliver, be able to launch and recover aircraft much faster than its uh, previous ships. You and I talked about this at the Army-Navy game and the, the budget cuts, the budget tightness that the Navy is facing. And a lot, there's been a lot of aircraft carriers here in Norfolk rather than out projecting the sovereign power you talked about. How does that change? How does, uh, how does the Navy get back to sea? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, the world is a, it's a 12-carrier world, right? And uh, Gerald R. Ford makes it 11 carriers right now. So these ships are in and out of Norfolk all the time. We are, you know, deployed forward. That's what the Navy does. And so uh, when you add something like the Ford into the mix, you take that big demand signal out there, you have more strike groups to meet that demand now, it makes it a lot better for our Navy, our sailors, and our nation. Give me a sense, what does it do for the Navy as a whole to have a brand new ship like this? Tell me what you're hearing in the fleet about morale. Well, the morale is good. The uh, sailors understand the importance of their mission. Uh, you know, particularly those sailors that are forward in some pretty dangerous places, those sailors are locked down and they are proud to be doing what they're doing. So morale around in the operating fleet is very good. When they see things like Gerald R. Ford come online, they see this as a huge investment of the nation in what they do, right? A validation of their mission. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, a statement that will carry that mission into the future, right? The, the, the final commanding officer of the USS Gerald R. Ford has not even been born yet, right? So that's how long this ship is going to be around uh, serving our interests. That, that's, a, that's a very long time. What's the wish list for the Navy going forward? Well, I'll tell you what, we've done a number of studies and we've been pretty open about that, that uh, as the world gets more complicated, as our interests grow, 
we need more Navy to protect those interests. The president's and talked about that. Exactly right. So he's mentioned 350 ships. Uh, not only the ships, but you know, there's a lot of new technology and capability out there to put on those ships. Uh, there's you know information in cyber and space that that uh, are part of our war fighting business right now. So it's a very very exciting time to be in the Navy. And there's this growing realization that you know, investing in our defense is good for the country. You know, the last time we were together, uh, you predicted that Navy would win at the Army Navy game. Are you more confident in these predictions today than you were in that one? Because Navy lost. I had to just let you remind you. No, no. Thanks for pointing that out. And uh, I'm here to help. Yeah. No. And, and Every time, right? Uh, no, absolutely. These are uh, not so much predictions as statements of fact, right? I mean, the, most of the uncertainty has been wrung out of this program, and so we just need to execute at this point. So, when did she go to sea? Well, she'll be launching a recovering aircraft next week. Wow, pushing out then, yeah. uh, Admiral. Good luck. Right. Godspeed to you and your men. Thank Thanks you, sir. So much. Thanks for your pleasure. All right.